Donna with the long neck and persistence of the memory are quite comparable to each other. The artistic style of persistence of the memory is derived from the artistic style from Madonna with the long neck. Despite the painting's differences, they are quite similar regarding to their cultural impact and mindset. Madonna with the long neck is a manneristic painting painted in the high renaissance in Italy. Manneristic paintings is more concerned with how the artist sees it and how the artist wants to draw it rather than how it would be depicted in real life. This makes some aspects of this painting stick out. For example, Madonna's long neck and this abnormally large child. This type and style of painting is seen as a rebellion from the normal paintings from the Renaissance. During this time period, the effects of the plague were also still being felt. The sense of memory is seen as a surrealistic painting. With eye-catching features such as the disformed clocks or what looks like to be a disformed face and a weird background with mountains as the backdrop, this painting grabs a lot of attention. Surrealism isn't concerned at all about how objects are portrayed in real life. Rather than trying to portray objects realistically, surrealism tries to explore the unconscious mind and take the human experience out of the restricted box known as reality. These paintings often have deep and personal meanings to the artists that painted them. Looking at both of these paintings together, we can see how they are similar and how they are different. Madonna with the long neck has much more realistic figures and proportions than persistence of the memory. Although Madonna with the long neck is the more realistic painting, it is not exactly very realistic with the lady's neck being elongated and the baby being much larger than a baby should be. Persistence of the memory is completely abstract and does not make physical sense in this world. The artistic styles of these two paintings are where they are really comparable. Where Madonna with the long neck is a slight distortion from reality, persistence of the memory is a complete distortion of reality, and this is how the two styles are derived from each other. The surrealistic style of paintings takes the ideas that can be found in the manneristic styles of paintings and ramps it up by about a factor of 10. While mannerism was seen as a slight distortion of classical renaissance art, there are some more differences with the styles of these paintings. If we look at Adana with a long neck, we can see that there's a lot of stuff going on very condensed within this painting. We can see a number of what looks like smaller children hanging out around there. And we can also see, looks like a double set backdrop where this could be like some curtains and this looks like the outside. And in the back, there is what looks to be a sculpture with some scripture. The main difference with Madonna with long neck and persistence of memory is how more spread out the attention is in this painting, or more of the attention is spread out evenly than Madonna with long neck, because Madonna with long neck, most of the attention's over there. And another major difference between these two is the use of color. I would consider persistent memory to be more monochromatic than Madonna with a long neck just because most of this most of the surface is what appears to be this brownish color with so, uh, there's some differences in color with the sky but other than that it's pretty monochromatic another major difference between the two paintings is how Madonna with the long neck portrays textures. As we can see in this painting, we got the curtains, which we can we can see like the ripples in the curtains, and it almost looks realistic. So you could almost feel it, and you have the hair of all the people, which also looks like textured. It would, if you could touch it, the painting, 
it would be perceived as if you'd be touching hair. And all the silk around the lady, it does look very realistic, and the use of light, we can see it also helps in tricking our minds to thinking that this is a much more realistic painting than what it is. Versus over here, you've got some some use of light, but it's uneven in places because right here, it seems like there's a hot spot of light over there, and then there's a hot spot of light in this area, which is fine. It's not supposed to be realistic, but that's just some differences between the two. And I don't really see that much texture, really. The most texture I can see in this painting is probably the eyelashes. Culturally, it makes sense why these two paintings are different, where Madonna with the long neck and mannerism in general, it's just a slight variation from reality to get attention and say, look at me. While persistence of memory is a large rejection of reality and screams look at me, but it's more of a rejection of the thought that you know how, let's say you're going into work, you punch in using your work number instead of your name. It's putting more, I would say, a person behind that number.